so I want to thank you all for coming. This is my second attempt at love. I'm trying. <laughs> Last year, if you remember, I was not picked by Orange. Bastard. <laughs> I've chosen someone else over me. Please do that brought me back to the bachelor. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Big fish bitches. So yeah, my first contestant, my, oh look. My first question from my contestants, my hot, hot, hopefully hot contestant. First question, I own a pet shop. We're going to start it easy. If you were an animal, what kind would you be? <laughs> you know, that's really hard because I love a lot of different animals, but if I had to be an animal, I think I'd pick a sparrow because they're just so cute and tiny. I could fly away and be free and happy all day, and then maybe I'd find someone really cute and nice like Cinderella to see me and pet me and I'm on half. Alright. Uh pretty sure I'd be a wolf, but tend to be a loner, but hey, I like the action. You know, fun running around with that. Well, I've never really thought about myself as an animal. Um, I have loved animals at my house, like reindeer, humans. Um, well, if I should be any animal, I guess the first thing that comes to my mind is a dog, like my dog. Because, um, you know, they're loyal and very loving, and even <laughs> if, even if they run away from you, they Oh, there's some interesting questions. Thank you, Mr. Cadet. Right. Thank you, audience. <laughs> 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 um, please ignore my unsexy host. <laughs> okay, I love her. What can I say? But anyway, I'm not here to find love with her. So anyway, um, thank you, Mr. Monkey. That was interesting. You can tell a lot about a person by their inner animal. And apparently you like monkey business. <laughs> so my second question. Let's say you come over to the pet shop to hang out, okay? Come over to the pet shop. Just to hang out. You can't find me. And all of a sudden, I emerge from the back room completely naked, <laughs> covered in bubbles. <laughs> what would you do? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I Sorry, I'm interested in his hate song coming from that guy. <laughs> naked covered in bubbles, my pounding, like, blush on my cheeks was way too loud and I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I'm covered in bubbles. This thing is set. There's candles on the table. A little Gloria Estefan in the radio. What do you do to me? <laughs> well, if she's singing conga, I guess we get the conga. Bubbles. <laughs> 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 Candles. Ah, 
dinner. Oh, yeah. I eat and eat and eat. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, can you speak up? I have some people in the first row speaking above you. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, I would offer you a towel so you wouldn't get sick during our nice, lovely dinner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, um, I'd wash you down with my hose. <laughs> After this is over, I might need two. <laughs> so I really wish I could ask like individual questions because first off, okay, well, <clears throat> since the contestants have said you eat and eat, what exactly would you eat? <laughs> Well, that's uh, obvious. Everything, of course. Oh. Everything that's there, I do have one hell of an appetite. <laughs> <laughs>